Okay, Jeff, I don't get it. What's, the spe what's so special about the DSP? What do you mean? Like, what do I need that for? The DSP is like three things in one. It's an EQ, it's a crossover, and kind of like a line driver because it's four volt output. And then think about it. You drive with the family on a long trip. You don't want to go in there and keep adjusting bass and treble. You can have a preset set to have the music more designed around playing the video for the kid. And then you have your normal listening, right? And then you have where you want to go in there and demo for somebody. You don't want to go in there and keep playing with bass and treble and everything else. You set the presets. That's just one aspect of it. Then you take a DSP like this, which you can play music through, and also you hide it away. You never even touch it. I mean, people buy the EQ in dash, but that's just dials. You're just turning things up and down. This actually has crossover settings. So then I need a crossover and an EQ, and it's all in one. But it's digital, so it's not even potentiometers that are going to just move and just a little tap. That's why I need a DSP. And what is the delay thing for? Delay? Even yeah. better. Home audio uses it, so if you have a speaker that's 12 feet away and one six foot away, they're going to sound different. You're going to hear the, the closer one. So you can actually change it. In car audio, if you have speakers down at the door and it keeps pulling your head down like it sounds like it's coming there and not the dash, you can adjust the time to it. And if you have speakers like all the way in the back or outside, you can adjust that so it all comes together perfect. Again, that's why you need a DSP. Hey, it's Big Jeff coming to you with another unboxing where you get to see it, usually hear it, almost touch it before you buy it. And today, yes, B2 Audio, B2 Audio USA in the house with a brand new item. It is a called the 610. It's a six channel in, 10 channel out DSP that is under 200 bucks. And we're gonna go over it and the app and everything else. Hey, before I start, hit that like button, leave a comment. You can always leave another one at the end of the video. Share this out. It doesn't cost you a dime, but it helps us out with giveaways and videos and everything else. If you're watching us on one of the other social medias, you don't subscribe, follow, like. Subscribe, follow, like. Subscribe, follow, like. What do you say? What do you say? Subscribe, follow, like. Subscribe, follow, like. Subscribe, follow, like. And we keep bringing stuff like this to you. So right here is the 610 DSP from B2 Audio. First time B2 Audio has gotten into the EQ or processor game and they did it strong here with a budget friendly. It's very friendly. 179.95 yes now looking at this really cool because they've done some new things here they've been going to scan code let's turn on the big jeff again real quick as you can see on the box there is a scan me for b2 audio usa and scan me for b2 audio international which will take you to the product websites and any kind of downloads right so that's real cool and as of this video right now which is february 15th there is a Android branded app, which you're about to see. One, it's four volts off each channel, not four volts total. That's a huge deal. Two, it's 179.95 and it's got 10 channels out and six channels in. That is awesome. And it's Bluetooth, which is really cool. Even better. So we're gonna crack this open real quick. Just be careful. See what you get in here. You have some mounting screws. There is no paperwork. Why? You got scan codes for all that now. And why are we doing that? Well, as there's updates, versions, everything else, you don't have to worry about having something old in the pamphlet. We will update it online. Now, you can see how small this thing is. And I'm gonna tell you how small it is. Well, how small is it? Let me grab my trusty tape measure. This is tiny. You're talking six inches by less than five inches and only an inch and a half tall. Really small. And then you have an antenna here. And you also see you have 
one, two, three, four, five, six inputs, which I'll show you on the app why, and 10 outputs here. You have a power, ground, and remote, and there is a preset and restart button on here. Also on the front, there's a limiter setting and there's limiter lights. So if it's hitting that, those lights will pop up on whatever channel. You also do have a clipping for the left and clipping for the right uh, signals, power, and then when it connects to Bluetooth, you will have a connection there. On the back, there is a QC sticker that passed and these are stamped 2025. These things are brand new. In fact, we started pre-orders and sold a bunch of them before they even hit here and they're in stock now. So why is this thing so cool? Well, one, you're getting 10 channels, four volts for $179.95. The Bluetooth input is a 5.1 and it is a 96 kilohertz and 32 bits per second. Really cool, inexpensive, easy to use DSP. Check this new app out. Okay, so we have the phone casted and we're using the Android app, which is very easy to install as an APK file. Um, so we would just go in, open the app, which is right there, the B2610 DSP, and bam, look how easy that was. So at the top you see 12 volts, and that will be the voltage uh, that the DSP is getting. You also have memory, so you can preset all types of, sorry, I'm using a phone that's gonna go off all the time. Uh, six memory sets, you can have easy listening, driving, demoing, whatever. Okay, very, very simple app to use, man. I love this. First option, you have in and out, in and out. So you have channel one through 10, and you can go in there and actually uh, turn those channels on and off or hit the value setting uh, if you're trying to mix inputs. Um, this is basically the routing right here, okay? So you see up top where it shows N1, N2, N3, right? And then you have Bluetooth. So you can actually make the channel go off of Bluetooth from your phone just by hitting Bluetooth. Um, really cool, or you could turn it off. I mean, just super easy and you have all of your 10 output channels right there it's routing so where do we want each of the channel and yes if you're using left and right then you would use channel one and two if you're only using one output for mono you only need one okay very simple now we go to game so i mean doesn't get any simpler than that you have a main game control that you can lock in and then per channel you can adjust that too and what it's saying here is you see the link button, that's basically linking channel one and two together or not. So again, if we're doing left and right or mono, and then you can adjust the gain per channel while you're tuning this. So let's just say you have an amplifier on the outside speakers uh, and you want those a little bit more strong than the rest, whatever. The configurations are endless. All right, crossover, and this does not get any easier. You have your channels across the top. See that? Real simple. And you could do multiple channels at the same time or not. And then you have a high and low. Okay, which means you could set per speaker what its rating is, low frequency and higher frequency, super easy. You have your Butterworth, 6 dB, 12, 18, all the way. Look at it. And the cool thing on this app is nobody even knew what the word Butterworth was or bezel or Linkwitz. Uh, most apps don't even have that word on there. Those are the type of cross the DB per octave settings. Super cool. And then you can actually turn, so you have a high pass and a low pass. And if you wanna shut one off, you can, and then you can make the adjustment. So let's go 36 DB. Uh, and we're gonna turn this down. You can get in there and do your high pass settings or go in with your finger, which what I'm doing right now. And I'm actually saying, hey, I want it from 100 Hertz, right? And then I want it to cut off at 10K, right? That's how simple it is. I'm just moving my fingers on the screen. And I can shut the crossovers off also, which means it's, full range, which I wouldn't recommend to do, but you can set a high pass and a low pass frequency range. On each channel, 
or to save, you can copy it to whatever channels you want. Okay, now we're gonna go into the next one. Limiter, Tar Amp was known for that, uh, where you could set basically uh, a point where you it cuts off, and you can do that per channel. And uh, I'm just hitting here. So release one, let me click channel one first. And I want my threshold to be two. And as you can see there, when I change the number, now I'm down to one, I can make my adjustments here where to release it at. It, it's, it's pretty simple, but I don't know how many people actually use the limiter on Tarant, to be honest with you, but it's a feature. Um, and then obviously you could just set it to auto, uh, which is really easy. I've never used a limiter before on an amp or an EQ ever. Okay. You have your memories here for local configuration on the phone. So let's say you wanted to save per different devices or vehicles. You can keep that on your phone and load it. All right. EQ input. So this is the input. You can either do bypass or I can reset it. And then I can go in here with just the slide of the finger and I can adjust. And then I can go all the way to 20K and all the way down. So let's say I wanted a dB gain of five, real simple. And I have a positive and negative on the screen. I can do it one at a time, or I can take my finger and just slide it. Look at that. Okay, now, this is just simple to use, man. I mean, I'm just sliding away here. So 20 Hertz all the way up to 20 kilo, uh, excuse me, 20 K. All right, next we have polarity. Oh, I'm sorry, I skipped one. Uh, no, we did the EQ, go back. Polarity, uh, basically 180 degree. So if you have an issue and you need to put something in phase or out of phase, real simple, go to the channel, set it to where you want. And then delay for you SQ people, or you have speakers all the way in the back of a vehicle, you can actually change the time delay that it takes to get there. And obviously you can do it as inches, um, millimeters, and you guys are gonna kill me. I have no clue what MS is, but I would stick to millimeter and inch. Okay, but you could actually change your time delay to make, say, the speakers all the way in the rear, keep up with the speakers in the front. Uh, or if you're doing an SQ setup, and you have like kick panels or, I mean, there's so many options there. Okay. And then finally we have a monitor. You can have a maximum basically limit. So nobody goes in there and messes your stuff up. Um, and what this also means too, is the voltage going out. So uh, this is your, basically what is going out voltage wise to the channels. Um, this is simple. That is where it is. I mean, do you want more options? I don't know if you really need to because, I mean, what does the DSP do for an inexpensive one, right? What does DSP do? So it's a digital processor. It's an EQ. It's a crossover all in one. It's digital. You can set it, preset it. In this case, not really a line driver, but you have four volts out. So no matter what radio you use, you have a clean signal. Now, there are some real expensive ones in the $500,000, $800,000, and yeah, you can get in there. Get in there! And you almost gotta have a degree to set it. But for the everyday guys, just want clean music or your bass heads that want to tune for shows and that. Just to keep it simple. That's how simple it is. And what more do you need? You need gains, crossovers, EQ settings, right? If you do have a time delay, I can see that being used not even just for SQ, but Speakers all the way in the rear or the front or outside. So that would be kind of important. You're gonna see your voltage on it. Could it use some more features? I will agree, yes. And we will make versions down the road and enhance on it. But for 179.95 for four volts, six input, 10 output, it's an awesome, easy to use piece. And I think it's a perfect way for B2 Audio to get into the processing game with something simple. Because I don't know if I would have liked them to come out with something super sophisticated and hard to use for the first one and way too expensive. I think this appeals to way more people out there 
and we've been selling them and reselling them and getting the feedback, so that proves that there. All right, so talking about the app, it is a APQ, APK download directly from the QR codes, the website, it's very simple, to an Android device. We are already in the process of taking the app, which if you scan the code, it'll take you to a generic app. Right now, it will be branded within the next couple of weeks and loaded on the iOS platform. Can't wait to see it. Okay, by doing that, we also have controls that make uh, updates and other features and I know for sure that B2 will get into the more sophisticated, more expensive DSP line, but right now with all the new products, I just think something simple like this does the needs when you have multiple amplifiers, you wanna be able to gain, you wanna have presets, you wanna just be able to get in there and rock and roll, you wanna lock people out, this is the way to go. Um, and you could do Bluetooth input, so when you connect this to your phone, you can play the music through it. Just what I need. So I mean, all that is super good for $179.95. Right now for February, it's 10% off, so take advantage of it. We have them in stock. They're right here, they ship out to you. And uh, man, another cool item from B2 Audio, stepping it up in the USA. And this is the 610 DSP. So I'm Big Jeff from BigJeffAudio.com, representing B2 Audio and B2 Audio USA. Hoping that you try this out, you're gonna enjoy it, you're gonna like it. And then uh, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment. I know uh, I'm not perfect at this, but I'm doing my best and I appreciate all of you. So check out bigjeffaudio.com and uh, share this out. Show some love. B2 in the house, it can never be too loud.